If you want to support the Predator Poachers catching the sickest both near and far, go to the pinned comment. If you're on Rumble, press the red join button to see over 30 videos early and uncensored for only $10 a month. We can't do this without your help, so join our locals. This channel is a group of investigative journalists who make educational documentaries showcasing and educating society, especially parents and legal guardians, about potential scenarios that result from young people and adults conversating online if left unchecked. We conduct thorough interviews with consenting adults in an attempt to understand their perspective on why they partake in these conversations online with people that are not of age. The goal of the interviews in these videos and the videos themselves is to gain an understanding of the perspective of the individual being interviewed so parents and the rest of society can be educated and aware of potential thought processes and desires of adults online to unsupervised persons not of age. These videos are not to cyberbully, harass, degrade, accuse, or threaten any individuals partaking in the interview process or in the video itself. We do not condone any of these actions. These videos are strictly educational and we grant full permission for academia, which is any classroom setting or in scholarly papers to show or cite our videos. To ensure that these videos are strictly used for educational purposes, we strictly adhere to YouTube's community guidelines, such as not revealing someone's personally identifiable information, in other words, PII. YouTube defines personally identifiable information as their home address, email addresses, signing credentials, phone numbers, passport number, medical records, or bank account information. We thoroughly look at and edit our videos to ensure that none of this information about any individual is shown in our videos. To ensure extra privacy for each person that is a subject of an interview in any of our videos, as of September 1st, 2022, to thoroughly comply with YouTube's harassment and bullying policy, there will be no mention or information about the last name or first name of any person interviewed in our videos. Due to potentially illegal activities discussed in our videos, law enforcement in the respective jurisdiction we conduct these interviews in is notified of each interview and video filmed by us. We are not accusing any individual interviewed of being guilty or committing a crime. That is the job of law enforcement. We are not vigilantes and we do not condone vigilantism or vigilante behavior, such as taking the law into your own hand or not notifying law enforcement when a suspected crime takes place. We are investigative journalists. Trigger warning. Some of what can be discussed in these videos can be sensitive to some, emotional, or stressful. The only goal of these videos is to educate the public. At the end of each video, as of September 1st, 2022, there will be an educational portion at the end to discuss what was talked about in the video and to discuss what people can take from that video and learn from and tell others about. Our goal here is to bring awareness and educate the public. Now the video will start. How's it going? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Is that Billy? <laughs> yeah. Very scary dog. That was who we have. That's who we have at the border right now, defending it. He just wants to come out and sniff you. That's the little bit. What kind of dog yeah. is it? Chihuahua? He's a Chihuahua Rat Terrier mix, we think. So he's a cute little guy. Yeah. I'm Billy. Hi, Gordon. Talk to you on the phone. Nice yeah, to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. So what's up? Let's uh, get package here. It's, uh, it's about some messages to uh, Madison and Mandy. We should probably go over. Okay, we okay. can. Uh, you want to just talk about outside, away from your wife, or? Or I can sign. Is it not anything to sign on? Well, it's it's about messages to Madison and Mandy. It's it's about the messages. It, we're, we're, I want to go over them with you. Kind of what we said here between everybody. Okay, I won't send any more. Okay, yeah, I just want to yeah, I just want to talk about it. Just kind of okay. make sure we're all on the same page here with everything. Mm -hmm. uh, is your wife home here? Yeah. Okay. Should, would you rather just talk in the front lawn? Then we'll just right here. Okay. Well, I'm kind of like you know, I just kind of want to be the front lawn, just so we're not like you know under anything, just for safety reasons. Well, we're fine. Okay. Um, not, anyway. fine. Nothing on you or anything. Okay. Got it. Um, do you know what I'm kind of here to talk to you about? Okay, got it. You seem like an honest dude anyway. And, uh, we're, uh, I guess she doesn't really know about it too much of it. Okay, that's all right. Um, all right. Well, I mean, I think we align on a lot of things, so just man to man, I'd rather just kind of get this shit taken care of. We'll be all right, okay? Okay. Um. Won't happen again. Well. Not I, ever. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. If, if I thought, if I thought it did, I wouldn't really be here talking to you. Um. Okay, so what do you think I could be talking to you about with the, with these two? Probably something inappropriate. Right. Well, I don't care if you're inappropriate, but... Well, but it got too far. Right. But what about, like, messaging them do you think would be inappropriate, potentially? Probably anything. Okay. So I'm going to stop. Okay. Done. 
Okay, before we get into anything, how old did they kind of say they were? They didn't. And so that was my fault. And then when I found out, I was like, oh. Oh, got it. So, yeah. so what did they end up saying? Huh? You found out? They didn't. They never went on an age, but they okay. just, from talking, I figured it out. That they were uh, younger? Yes. Okay. How old did you think they were? I thought they were 19. No, I get it. But like, how, how old did you think they were when you found out they were younger? Oh, I know they're younger. I mean, okay. What's, sure what's your guess? 13. Got it. Okay. Yeah, that's it's probably about right. Okay, so that's when did you when did you kind of find out they were about that age? Probably about the last day or so. Last day or so. Okay. Got it. So I kind of want to ask because you know I know you're a good dude and stuff, and dude I can totally understand how the internet can make people kind of woozy because dude I've been there before too. Mm -hmm. um, but I noticed like on on your profile there's like a lot of profiles that are kind of on the younger side, um, just on Facebook and whatnot. Do you have like Telegram at all? No. No. Like Signal, WhatsApp, anything like that? No. What apps do you have? Just just that. Okay. But I'm not going to, I'll kill all that. Got it, got it. Yeah, no. Taking I'm, it out today. For sure. But, um, you know, I noticed like a lot of kind of profiles on the younger side. I know the internet, like once one thing opens up, it can be a whole shit show. I, That's I, what's but, happened. I'm oh. getting all kinds of stuff. That's why I'm going to show you now. Okay. But how, how do kind of younger, and I'm, again, like obviously <laughs> they, they have to add you. You have to add, but it's not like all you or all them. But how, how do younger profiles kind of get onto your uh, profile, you think? Just hold on. I'm going to take care of something real quick. The, the timer I had set. Want me to wait here? Or? Yeah. Okay. Bella, that's 15 minutes. You probably need to head home. Do you hear that, Stace? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, they, there's been some of them adding me and some of me adding them. Really? And then I figure, yeah, then I figure out they're younger and I'm going to stop. Okay, got it. So, so what do you do for work? You're like a physical therapist? I don't anymore. Oh, you used to do it? I'm retired. I'm medical. That's why I came in the water. Oh, shit. Medical, I was on medical leave and then they did away with my job and used to work at the hospital. Oh, really? Yeah. What did you do at the hospital? Uh, working in a wedding. Like, physical, like, injuries. oh, okay. Well, thanks for what you did, man. As a... I, I'm sure you could tell, but as a former athlete, um, not a current one, clearly, but as a former athlete, I appreciate what you do, because I know. I've dealt with broken wrists, high ankle sprains, all that shit. What do you think I played? You were probably a tackle. Uh, arms are too short. I was a center, but yeah. Okay. So, you know, I dealt with all that shit, you know. Tight ends getting pushed into my ankle and shit, because I can't, you know, I didn't take the weight room seriously, all that crap. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, so about when did this kind of start online, about like these younger profiles trying to add you and all that shit? Probably about the time I talked to them recently, it's late at night, just playing on the internet. But okay, it's done. Got it. Don't anymore. That's What's like a? Seen. How often is this kind of happening with these people? I don't know. What's your best guess? I don't know. Several times a week. I mean, you've got the stuff right there. No, but I mean, like, how often is it happening? Like with these younger profiles trying to add you and all that shit. What do you mean? Like you know, because I see you on your page, there's like all these. Younger okay. ladies under 18. You yeah. don't have to worry about that. I haven't met anybody. Okay. Just on the line. Uh -huh. I'm going to shut it all down when I walk okay. in there. Okay. I'll have a talk with my wife and shut everything down. Okay. Well, I kind of want to know, like, how, how did it start, though? Because I, I don't want the same path to be for other people, too. You it know? won't be. Okay. It started because I talked to one, and then another one was friends with this one, and I added the Madisons of friends of a friend. Oh, okay. So I added, so that's what's kind of happened through the thing. But Got I'm it. Done. Got it. Okay. I'll shut it all down, and we'll have it. Got it. So there was, there was a few of these people trying to hit you up with all that shit. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I don't even think that should be online. No. You know, that's my thing. No. Um, well, How did of, you get involved in this? Well, you know... You just look in and see it, or...? Yeah, so these messages were kind of sent to me, and, you know, I heard some rumors about some other stuff, too, like with other profiles and all that stuff. I think there's been, I don't know, I mean, there's been a few that I think have talked to you over the past yeah. couple months and all that shit. Yeah. But I will shut it down. For sure. Okay. So, I mean... I know. You know, obviously there, there's a lot here. I didn't even print out all of them, but I don't, you know, I, I think we can kind of go over there's this. No need. Well, yeah, I don't think we need to go through read every single message, but without me having to read all of this, I mean, what, what was kind of talked about with this type of stuff? Well, it's just about. Really? Yeah, about them discovering themselves and do boys like home and things like that. I'm trying to explain that boys have urges and needs and things, and they need to 
take care of themselves, right. don't worry about the boys, right. don't start dating at 12 years old, yeah. years old. Yeah. things like that. When did you start giving them that advice, like don't start dating? Early, as soon as they started talking about boy crazy and oh, really? they wanted to do things and I said, no, no, no. Okay. Okay, so they, so they told you they were younger at the beginning then? No, they told me that they were interested in boys okay. and they're in school. And I, was, okay. and I was thinking school, college. Okay. And so, I was, you know, the same road. I mean, they're talking about doing things with different guys. And I'm like, no, oh, that's not appropriate. Mm -hmm. And so I got on and started, you know, right. my intentions originally were good. Right. And, then, you know, I'll admit, went to some territory I shouldn't. But right. again, it won't happen again. I for either. sure. For sure. And look, I mean, I'm not coming here to just say, like. Are you law enforcement? Nope. Uh, but okay. I think we should probably keep it, like, here. Right. You know, I'm. I'm it's done. Really, right. And you can watch and you can see and you'll see that. Won't be. Okay. So, um, look, and again, like obviously, just even just going through these without reading anything. Yeah, but you know, they obviously were, they obviously were talking to you too. Like mm -hmm. it's not, it's not a one way street. Like if it, it was just you, like if it was you over and over again. Hey, 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 look at this, look at that. That'd be like, okay, that's kind of weird. But like, you know, I get it. It's on the internet. People talk and shit happens. Um, so, the first message. What's a spring league volleyball? That's where you play volleyball. Okay. In the spring, they have like fall is their season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they play spring league. Club. Got it. Got it. Okay. Blah 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 blah. So you all started talking, I think, in uh, February or something like that. I don't know. Got it. Got it. Um, where did Mandy live? North Texas. North Texas. Yeah. Got it. Did she give you a city at all, or? She did, but I'd never go there. Okay. Is that I'm just, what you're needing to hear? No, no. I mean, did she... Okay. So she, gave, she says here, okay, I like Vernon. So did she tell you she lived in Vernon? She hinted at that, yeah. Okay, got it. So she said you were an EMT. Okay. Like I said, I really, really freaking appreciate that. Um, so the conversation was cordial at first. And, you know, here... You know, that you have two openings in the front and the back. Of course, the ass in the back. The pee from the opening called the urethra. And the vagina is designed for child and also where the goes during You're taking your index finger, middle fingers, and put them in an upside down V shape, and then put the. Would you be interested in trying this? Um, not judging you, but what was kind of the point of telling her that? I'm not saying that so makes that sense. she's taking care of her needs and not going to some boy to do it. Okay, right. but this conversation needs to be over because I'm done. I've told you that three times. Okay. okay. That I'll kill the profiles. Mm -hmm. Won't ever do it again. I apologize if you're offended. I would never do anything with anybody mm. inappropriate. So it was talk. Mm. Well, Billy, look, man, I'm not in the business of going to tell your job or going to tell your people over there. Um, obviously, not in the business of telling your wife. But I just feel like if the conversation ends here, I don't think that there. I don't. I'm not, I don't really believe this won't happen again. I just want to get it addressed. Look, I know it's totally uncomfortable to talk about. Obviously, I know it's not the most flattering thing. But, you know, I'm coming here knowing, assuming that you're a good person, assuming that, you know, this could be stopped out today. But ending the conversation here, that doesn't really give me that peace of mind. And obviously, I didn't have to come here and talk to you about this. Right. Like, this was a lot of shit said back and forth. Okay, and so what do I need to do? What, do, what, what are you saying? Well, it's voluntary to talk to me. But okay. what, you know, if I were in your feet, um, I would say we should look, get this address, get this shit addressed, figure out why this happened. Figure out if it'll ever happen again, which I'm sure it won't. But you know, it definitely give me a peace of mind to say, you know what? Yeah, Billy's not like those other people online because there are some bad people online. You know that. Sure. Billy's not like those other people online that are kind of like you know just overboard and crazy and all that stuff. Because there's a to me there's a difference between internet bullshit and you know going out with an ice cream truck or come to elementary school. You don't give me that element. You don't give me the ice cream truck vibe. But you know, I, I'm not like that. I don't think you no. are. I don't think you are. But, you know, I, I do want that peace of mind for sure, man. Um, like I said, I don't want to read all these. Like, were any, like, pictures sent to them or anything? No. I don't think so. I mean, if there were, it was just pictures of uh, anatomy. Okay. But were any pictures of, like, could any pictures of, like, other stuff been sent to them, like, that weren't you? I didn't see any pictures of me. Okay. Were there... Pictures that might have been a little bit overboard that were sent Probably. to them that were not okay. So, but again, won't happen again because we're we're talking back and forth. They're asking about things. And right, right. It got stupid. Okay. Won't get stupid anymore. Okay. I just want to make sure. So, this, so, so is this is this picture here? Was this your? Or did you just get it no, from the internet? No, internet. Okay. 
<laughs> I would never do that. Okay, so this was just some random sent them? And I shouldn't have. That was wrong. Okay. So I'm very embarrassed and I won't do it again. Okay. No, I know it's embarrassing, but like I said, I'm not here to judge you, dude. And I get, like I said, dude, big difference between that ice cream truck and just kind of around online. Um, yeah, it got stupid. Right, right. So, um, did you all ever talk about, like, hanging out together at all? She wanted to, and I kept shutting it down. Okay. What did she want? What did she ask you to do? Like, she just wanted to get to? together. Like, in what way? What do you think? Pretend I went to Catholic school, dude. I, I, haven't, <laughs> I haven't read through all these. <laughs> pretend pretend you're uh, no. my... Ch she wanted to get together to be, like, boyfriend girlfriend. How's oh, really? That? Yeah. Okay. Did she, uh, did she, like, ask you to do boyfriend girlfriend things to her? She was wanting that. And I just kept putting it off. I didn't ever say absolutely not. Mm. But it kept coming up with, no, I've got work, I've got this, I've got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just putting it off, putting it off. I haven't ended it, ended it, but today it's over. Why did you go, like, see her? What? Why did you, like, go see her? Why didn't I? Mm -hmm. Because she's a minor and I'm married. Okay. I have no interest in that. I wasn't going to do that. I was dicking around on the internet late at night. Okay. When did she uh, first ask you to hang out? I don't know. I mean, specifically, I really don't. Probably okay. about a week or two after we were talking. Okay. Got I mean, it. You know, she was infatuated because I gave her a little attention. Yeah. And just, that was wrong. Sure. So, but again, won't happen again. Okay. Right. So that first time she asked to hang out, like, what, what did you think? Like, did you were you thinking about going at all, or no? Why not? Because she's a minor. Okay. There's no way. Okay. That's she's old enough to be my granddaughter. Okay. So you knew that the first time she asked you to hang out, like yeah, you weren't about to do that shit. Right. Okay. Okay. So that's kind of a, so that's kind of my hang up here because she asked you to hang out months ago, and you told me that you found out she was a minor yesterday. So that doesn't kind of that kind of doesn't add up because you said you didn't go because you thought they were minor. So I want to bring up this message here, and I think this is the only thing you've been very very honest about everything, which I appreciate, and that's the type of person that I thought I was going to be talking to today. Um, in the very first message, um, in fact, I think after you just gave a little hello to her, like every guy does online, um, she said that she was uh, 12 in the first message, which I think we both know. Um, so I just want to kind of, I just want to like, you know, and I, I fully understand why the full truth wouldn't come out immediately because you're a human being. You actually have a conscience about this, which okay. I can tell. Don't remember exactly when, and I didn't mean to tell you that it was just yesterday. Okay. Yesterday she mentioned again that I'm 12. Mm -hmm. And that rattled my brain and I said, okay, I got it. Okay. Just quit talking to her. Okay. Because she's 12. They're impressionable. They could think the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. There's no way I'm going to drive up to there right. or have her drive down here or anything ridiculous like that. Right. Would be the but there it was a, kind of why I'm here is there was a plethora of messages after you knew she was underage. Okay, and again... I mean, I, am I wrong about that? No, okay. and I apologize for that. It won't happen again. Okay. I'm telling you, if, if you, you know, if you'll tell me that it ends here, it ends here. Dude, I'm, I'm very done. open to the possibility that we stomp it out right here. You ever play O-line? Do what? You ever play O-line? Uh, no, I was linebacker. Oh. Oh, man, see? You, you got the O-line <laughs> build after that happened. That's why I've had the back surgery and knee surgeries and shoulder surgery and... You play in college and shit? Hmm. I was too beat up in high school. Damn, dude. <laughs> well, I guess back in your day, football was actually football, so that kind of that kind of makes a little yeah. bit of sense. A um, yeah. So, um, some of these messages here, um, you know, teaching them about, you know, I'm not trying to scare you, but it's called the world's common term for doing a guy. A common term for doing it to a girl's. Um, I want to ask it again. I judge you because I, you know, like just you don't even have to answer this, but man to man, I know, like when you get up in older age, because I've seen it with my grandpa, I've seen it even with my uncles, then the sex in that household doesn't become as common, you know, and you know, I, I get that shit. But what was kind of the appeal of kind of teaching these two younger ladies under 18 about some of this stuff? Because they were wanting to know questions about things. Mm -hmm. And I'm a teacher. And taught anatomy for a lot of years. At a high school? Or? Yeah. Nice, man. And I have a lot of knowledge about anatomy. Obviously, that's what I worked in my career, mm -hmm. taking care of athletes with injuries. Yeah. Like and so I just took it and ended up, you know, teaching and telling, and then it got out of hand. 
Okay. Got a little bit carried from me. Got a little bit carried yeah. away. Yeah. It's, stupid. It's, yeah. I mean, we're guys. I mean, we have hormones and shit. Incredibly stupid. Yes. Um, did you? Uh, so, did you coach as well, or? I was the athletic trainer. Took care of the injuries. What, what, what high school did you do, uh, do that at? Several. Oh, okay. I've been like at three different high schools. Oh, okay, okay. So, so you, you're like three years. I've retired now. Got it. Got it. Okay. So you're like pension and everything. Mm -hmm. Nice man. That's awesome. When did you retire? Eighteen. Okay. Cool. Um. Got it. So, did you do basketball, football, volleyball? Everything. Oh, everything. Okay. Oh, so I guess head athletic trainer. That makes sense. Um. Okay. So, yeah, because I was going to say, obviously, when I think you're athletic training, I don't think you were teaching them about jobs and all that stuff. No. Okay. So that's why I'm asking. When I got carried away, what was the appeal of kind of teaching that? Because I get the, I get the anatomy thing, but okay. like I was a health teacher too. Okay. And in health, you do teach education. Right. And these young girls, she told me, came out with one of those and said, she's got friends that are having sex already. What's mm -hmm. it like? Mm -hmm. And instead of saying, I can't talk about this, I went ahead and explained that it's really great, but not appropriate for a young, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, we just, we, I, instead of cutting it off and saying not appropriate, I went mm -hmm. ahead went into teacher mode and started explaining, and then she had such something back. and. It got stupid. Got a little bit uh, escalated. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, because I mean, this message right here does it feel good when you were gliding your hands over your? Right. Okay, so that wasn't. Um, I don't think that was. Was that kind of? Was that kind of for your gratification or dopamine no. in any type of way? No. No. Okay. No, so. I wasn't doing anything. Nothing like that. Okay. It was just stupid on the internet. Right, but what was your? What was the appeal of kind of saying that to her though? It's just like I said, so that she would kind of know that, yes, that feels good mm -hmm. to yourself. Right. Okay. And that she doesn't need a boy to go do all that. Sure. Did you ever try to pass off any of the pictures as yours? No. No? Well, I don't think so. One of them I might have said, this is like mine, but no, I never said it was mine. Okay. Got it. So did you teach uh, your high school students kind of how to... So that, that was the carried away part. Yes. Okay. Because here it says, another way girls can is by using objects that are shaped like a and sometimes used to imitate by moving it in and out. The objects that are commonly used are hairbrush, candles, or electric toothbrush, yes. letting the vibrations Another way is by using the water running into the bathtub by getting your underneath the water, running down over it, or using a movable shower head to focus the jets on, or by getting close to a pool or hot tub jet. Um... So what's, like, I'm just kind of, my only roadblock, Billy, because, you, again, you've been very transparent and honest, and I appreciate that, but my only roadblock is, like, how does, there, there has to be something in that for you. Um, and, again, that's okay, but that's kind of figuring out what the issue is. There has to be something in that for you. What, what is it? The only reason that was in for me mm -hmm. is that I felt like I might be helping a couple of kids not make a bad decision, not end up pregnant at 13 years old. Mm -hmm. We've got a problem around here with kids getting sexually active too early. Okay. And she's saying it's happening in their school. That scares me that little kids are doing things that have lifetime consequences. And that's what I didn't get into mm -hmm. and should have gotten into instead of the teaching I should have said. There are consequences to these behaviors. Okay. So you never told her there were consequences? No. Okay. And I should have. Okay. So do, do you think that teaching her how to... It was not appropriate. Okay. Did, did you send these pictures of like this and all this shit to her? Probably. Okay. Well, was that you, was, was that you or a hacker? <laughs> I don't think it was a hacker. Well, it, it might have been a hacker. My Facebook's been hacked two or three times lately. I get it, but a you, lot of those young ones, uh -huh. I got hacked. Okay. And they sent they put like an inappropriate picture on the on my Facebook story. Oh, really? Getting hacked, and so I had to shut down Facebook and sure. close it all. Sure. And so a lot of that came from, a lot of those came from stuff like that. And okay. Hacked but, in and sent. But these were all sent Some to of them were sent to her, yes. By you? Yes. Okay, so. So that she'd know what different things were. Again, I okay. went teaching and not, I went stupid. Okay, but do, do you it think that sent. happen again. What, right, but do you think that sending her pictures it, of no, all over them. Good. No, 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 but listen, all over them, teaching her how to. Do you think that makes her more active or less active? Probably less because she Probably has less. some information, yes. Okay, so... Because she has some information that's helpful and she'll sh know. Sure. You know, we did talk about consequences like getting pregnant and things mm -hmm. like that, so she'll know that that's not 
Right. The thing to do. But my only hang up is how is showing her an acted out act on the internet, how is that making her less, how, how is that enticing her to be less active? Okay, it, it may not be. Okay. I was hoping that it would be. Okay. Did you express that you hope it would be in no. any of the messages? No, no because no. there didn't go consequences either. Okay, got it. Okay, I screwed up. Okay. Let, let's just call it that. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to ask too, um, there was some talk about a hotel in Oklahoma. Yeah, I mean, it, that was putting her off so that because she she had a, a day off from school. Mm -hmm. She was going to be home with her friend. Yeah. Mom wasn't going to be around, and she was trying to set up this thing. And I said, well, let's just go to Oklahoma. And so she's all excited about this hotel in Oklahoma. I wasn't going to go there. Okay. There's no way. Okay. That's crossing state lines. It's a minor. That's, I, I have no interest in that. Okay. But why'd you tell her that, then? Again, putting her off. Okay. Because she was so set on, you know, and I'm not trying to blame the kid. Yeah, so for sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah. I got you. But. That's why I told her that, just to, to put it off and set a date, and then the date that it came off, sorry, I had to work. Yeah. And the game, sorry, I had to work. Yeah, no, I no, and I definitely noticed That's that pattern, so yeah, yeah. But is there anything, uh, did y'all talk about doing anything in Oklahoma together? I know it obviously didn't happen, but did y'all talk about just around or anything? Probably. Okay, what was talked about? Just what we would do. What did Mandy say she would do? I mean, I don't want to go through and read them. I mean, it, okay. okay. just. Normal stuff. She said she would be a girlfriend for me. She wanted to be a good girlfriend. Okay, so what did that entail? What did she say that ent entailed? That's what she's thinking. Okay, so that that was communicated in the messages about yes. doing, sh doing that and in Oklahoma? Then I, and then I didn't shut it down. That's why I, I, okay. I did the, you know, putting her off, putting her off, putting her off. Mm -hmm. I just didn't shut it completely down. Yet. Okay, so... But today, as of right okay. now, done. Okay, but I think you were a willing participant in that talk about what you'll do well, in Oklahoma. Yeah, because I was stupid. Okay. Stupid in the middle of the night. Middle of the night, nobody's up, sitting there playing on the internet, and a girl's sitting there firing back. Yeah. And I fired back with her. It was stupid. Of course, of it course. Was a very bad decision. So I want to ask about. Uh, I want to ask about some of this stuff. Um, have there been any? Because you know, I know, I know you're looking out for people, and there's a difference between getting carried away versus being malicious. And I, I, I give you credit on that. I, I know, I know you're not malicious, but. Have there been people online that have tried to that have tried to run into you? Maybe you ran into them, you know, like a linebacker through the A gap, maybe that have been malicious. Like, have you come across any adults that have tried to like talk to you about this type of stuff before? No. No. Okay. Did Mandy send any herself? No. No. Okay. No, absolutely not. Her dad has a lock on her phone. Mm -hmm. She can't send pictures. Okay. And I told her, I said that's good. And she goes, well, why? I said because your dad is taking care of yourself. She sent a couple of pictures of herself, so that, but she has them online too, what she looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. next thing I was about to do, seriously, mm -hmm. was to tell her to be careful who she's friending. Because right. I'm looking, right. she's friending a whole lot of people on Instagram, a yeah. whole lot of people on Facebook, and I suspect, don't know, Yeah. she might be having inappropriate talks with other people. Sure. No, and I appreciate that. And appreciate that's what I'm worried that. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, seriously. Um, so wait, she said she had a lock on the phone or something? Her dad does. Oh shit, wait, okay, I didn't actually see that the message. Where, when was that? I don't know, I don't, I don't know specifics. And <laughs> but like, well, like when, you when said you don't want to read it, so don't read through it. Right. It was, it was probably about the time that the Oklahoma stuff came up. That she has a lock on the phone? Yeah, that she said, you know, I'd send you a picture, but I can't. And I said, well, that's good. Mm -hmm. Your dad is protecting you. Okay. She goes, yeah, but I'd like to be able to take pictures of my friends. I said, well, but you can't. Mm -hmm. That's dad's rule. So was she asked for then? No. Okay. No, I would never do that. Okay. So, um, something about here, uh, you explained to your sister how to use phone and shit, so you taught mm -hmm. her to? Okay, mm -hmm. got it. Well, didn't teach her, her mom had taught her all that. Okay. But you said here, she was having trouble with my instruction, not very good or helpful instruction, apparently. I tried to explain through the bathroom door, but it wasn't working so well. How that, what happened with that? My sister, my stepmom was a monster. Oh, really? And I had to teach my sister how to take care of herself when she had. Oh, really? Yeah. Got it. Got I mean, a post and personal. You don't want to do that at 14 years old, 12 years old with your sister. Yeah. That was awful. Yeah. And that's what I was telling her, and I asked her, I said, and then I asked, I said, have, have you had a no? I mm -hmm. said, do you know about it? Yeah, my mom's a nurse, and she talked to me. I said, that's perfect. Nice. As long as you're prepared. And I said, you have? And she goes, yeah, I've got a kid. I've got stuff made up. Because mm -hmm. I've been with young ladies before, and they had their like in schools. 
and it's devastating if they haven't been told anything. How'd that kind of go? It went fine. She was very cool about it. She was very, you know, mom has told me and I understand. No, so, but how, how did it go like with your sister? Like, how did you help her out with all that stuff? Oh, she was fine. I mean, she accepted the advice, said thank you, and then went on. We never talked about it again. Okay. So it's not something that we can discuss. Didn't want to talk about it anymore. Yeah. And then later she told my mom, hey, I had my Then she goes into mom mode because she goes, well, I took care of it. My brother helped me with it. Mm -hmm. So it was done. So, um, so he, here we said, your skin looks softer and the muscles look different between boys and girls. I would probably see budding of the underneath one or both muscles. Hair distribution is very different. And she said, okay, I'm talking fine. to her about tenor stages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stages of puberty. Right. Because she's asking, she's wanting to know about why don't I have Why don't I have Why don't mm -hmm. I have, you know, trying to compare herself to other girls. And I said, you're beautiful like you are. Don't compare mm -hmm. yourself. And here are the things that happen. Here are the tender stages. Okay. And then I was telling her, you know, you're probably beautiful. It's probably doing this, probably mm -hmm. doing this. And just wanting to know, you know, kind of what stage. And then I did say, if I had a picture, I could tell you what stage you're in or mm -hmm. you describe it. Sure. I could tell what kind of stage you're in. Right, said, right. Just talking blank, I don't know. Just because you haven't started and explained puberty's not overnight, it's a process. Okay. It takes a little while. Got it. So um, this was before any uh, meetup or anything or anything asked. I'm so I never met. No, yeah, yeah. Before any talk of a meetup, my, my fault. That's my fault. Before she started that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So my question is... Um, you know, being that there's kind of a pattern here. Like I know of an Emily that's kind of talking to you a little bit on Facebook too. She's 11. Um, you know, th this was very early. I don't, I don't think you'd be explaining to a 19 year old um, the stages of puberty. But she's right. kind of past it at this point. Okay. Yeah, I found out pretty quick that she's not 19. Okay. And that's when I should have shut it down. I realized the error of my ways now. Okay. I know that. Got it. Got it. I mean, I'm looking to you man to man saying, yeah, I'm done. No, for sure. I will not be on the internet anymore. Got it talking to anybody like that. So you you as a trainer, um, I kind of want to ask, and this is kind of a rumor I heard in high school, they said that fried pickles are kind of good for recovery and all that? Never heard that. I wouldn't ever recommend fried food for recovery because of the cholesterols and the stuff that it's going to build up with the fats. And really? The, uh, blood pressures. Pickles are good for uh, pickles and pickle juice for cramping. Okay. Like if you cramp real bad a couple of days before, if you eat pickles and have pickles because of the sodium. Helps with cramping. I've also used mustard packets, vinegar. Oh, okay. There are several things that you can use. Yeah, because, you know, cause in high, that's where I heard it in high school. It's probably some bro science, but they were saying, like, you know, it really helps recover because of fried pickles, yeah, because of sodium, and then also the carbohydrates and the fried shit, they kind of build you up more. So mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Yeah, I was, I was, I was kind of caught up. I don't, I don't weird. carb load with fried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pastas are okay, but not fried stuff. Yeah, because I was never. Yeah, it just came to me now. When you, when, I, when you said you were a trainer, I was like, ah. Uh. Oh, I could ask him back. So I always wondered about that. I never like looked into it or anything. Okay. Um, so I, I kind of want to ask, um, you know, this is more me just trying to get a gauge of what these girls do online. Um, you know, I haven't talked to, well, I guess too many. Um, I know Mandy didn't send you any or anything, but I've never had any sent to me by girls. Okay. If that's what you're asking, young girls, no. Got it. Got it. Do you think there's been other instances online where you think you maybe got a little bit carried away with some of this stuff? Possibly. Okay. How many times do you think it could have been a thing? Two or three. But, um, again, done. Okay. So what was enticing? Because, you know, obviously you can talk to 18-year-olds, 19-year-olds, 20-year-olds. So what was enticing about teaching this to 11 to 13-year-olds? Because they're asking questions. They're wanting to know. Mm -hmm. They're wanting to know about their bodies. They're wanting to know about the boys and... You know, I got carried away in the dad, teacher, athletic trainer, stupid mode okay. of, you know, explaining this. So was it kind of like a role-playing thing to you? Sort of. Okay. But not, we never, I never said that, but yeah, kind of. Okay. So what about that role kind of made, is, was interesting to you? Because, you know, we all think, you know, I think of like, I've seen some videos where, no, you know, no, it starts no, off, it's no, a massage no, no, and all no, that no, stuff. No, no, no. It's not that. Mm -hmm. It was a... Talk to him from the standpoint of a little bit probably a gratification for me, but of a teach, educate, mm -hmm. and explain, hey, this is, you know, this is what's going on with your body. These are the changes you can expect. Mm -hmm. This is what happens. So it's a little bit of a gratification for you. What is that gratification? Just the value of teaching. I, I like teaching kids. Not necessarily about that, but uh -huh. like I taught anatomy for years and years and years. Okay. And taught health for years and years and years. 
issues, and that would come up. Mm -hmm. they, you know, they would ask all kind of questions, and when they're asking questions, they're doing this stuff already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were some of the questions you would get, I mean, it's just me being curious, were some of the questions you would get in high school, like from the high, did you teach only high school, middle school too, or elementary? Did, high school. High school. Were some of the questions you got in high school, were, did, did they ever ask you questions that were like extracurricular at all, like not in the curriculum, like yes. they did? Yes, all the time. <laughs> how, how does taste? Do boys really uh, have all kinds of questions like Wait, that? so your students would actually yes. ask you that shit? Yes. They would ask you how it tastes? Mm -hmm. What the f they wanted to know. So this is like an in-person conversation of them it's going up to class. you. Uh -huh. Conversations, not one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, in sure, class. sure, sure. But yes. So they would just raise their hand and be like, how does it taste? Well, or how does semen taste? I mean, they may try to phrase it properly, but yeah. sometimes they wouldn't know how to. Right, right. Did any of the boys ever ask those questions, or was it uh, more girls? Or? Boys would ask if their could be broken, because they heard about that. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, you can injure, it's not a bone, but you can injure. Sure, sure. So. Uh, just, just curious, because you know, obviously, I have messages here of you know Mandy just kind of going overboard herself. Even if we're being honest here, did any of the the students in your high school they try to did any of the girls like try to go overboard with you and try to like flirt and all of that shit? Not that I know. No. No, because I mean, married, so that never was an issue. No, no, I know. I'm not saying for you. I'm just saying, did any of the girls in high school try to come on to you and be like, "Hey, Mister," no? No. They would with the other teachers and coaches. Sometimes, but not with me. Okay. How'd that make you feel? What do you mean? That make you feel sad and no. underconfident? No. <laughs> I've never had a confidence problem with uh, that. Okay. I don't. I'm, I don't get gratification from young girls. If that's really what you're wanting to hear, that I'm not a. I'm not a. I'm not anything like that. Do you think people could call this some of the stuff? Okay. Yes, it's terrible. I use very poor judgment. I use uh, gummies for Good. pain from my back, mm -hmm. and I'd be sitting there, I'd be bored, get on the internet, somebody would talk back to me, I'd talk back to them, just back and forth and back and forth, and again, stupid. Two in the morning, we were talking about stuff that we shouldn't be talking about. Sure. But again, won't happen again. Right, right. So, uh, who's Madison? That's a friend of uh, Mandy. Did Madison ever talk to you directly? Just texting back and forth, and Madison didn't really want to talk to me. And I said, that's fine. Okay. So here, um, I don't know if I'm doing, how, how old is Madison? Probably the same age, I don't okay. know. Maybe you're younger, I don't uh, know. Okay, that's fair. Um, yeah, you're right about that. Um, you say here, what if you teach your friend? Did you already talk about it with her? You don't, why don't you think it's right? Um, what was the kind of, because Madison, you said, didn't want to talk to you. Didn't Madison you? and Mandy are recently uh, an item, their girlfriends. Because Mandy told me that she thinks she's attracted to girls and she was worried about that and mm -hmm. asking questions about that. Mm -hmm. And she asked what I thought about that and I said, that's fine. Okay. I don't have a problem with you being attracted to whoever said, don't make a decision based on how you feel at 12. Yeah. Because how you feel when you get older. Because by then I knew she was 12 and when she was telling me, she goes, I think I've got a girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's where that came up. Okay. So did Madison ever ask you uh, any like, you know, teach me this, teach me that? No. No? Okay. So why did you want Mandy to teach Madison then? The same reasons that I wanted to teach her that. So okay. that she wouldn't go making a bad decision because she was talking about her friends having Right. Well, well you told you told me that you say kind of this stuff because girls have questions, but when Madison didn't have any questions for you, you still wanted to teach her. And she shut it down and I stopped. Okay, but you try to be, a, you try to use Mandy as a proxy for that, though. Okay, well, and that was wrong. Okay. I shouldn't have. So is there any excuse for that one, or? No, just okay. stupid. Got it. Okay, so. You say you haven't read these, but you pretty much have read them. I'm just a well-versed, bro. What can I say? Okay, I mean, but, you've, got a um, lot of, you've got a lot of knowledge there that you keep telling me, and you keep saying it's done, and you, and, you know, you're telling me how straight up it's being, and then you keep bringing stuff up. I've just told you, mm -hmm. I'm done. I'm about to go in there and have a pretty rough conversation with my wife, because she's gonna know what this is about. Okay, do you okay. think you can bring her out of the bullpen here? No. I'm not gonna tell her all this. I'm just gonna wanna have a kind of a little pet no. talk with her. Okay. I will go tell her that you called me on some inappropriate things I was saying to underage kids, mm -hmm. it'll never happen again. Okay. 
I do want to know when did that when did this start though? Like when did these kids start having these inappropriate conversations with you? Probably February, but I don't know. I don't put a date and a stamp on everything I do. Mm -hmm. Would it would it make sense to you that we've been kind of trying to that we've been kind of having eyes on you since early last year? No, I mean, it might make sense, but I didn't know that. Who's we? Well, it's kind of just you know we kind of look for people who we think could okay. be talking to kids online. What I'm wondering who's we? Who's we? Yeah. Kid Protectors USA. Kid okay. Protectors USA. All right. Yeah. Well, I appreciate what you do. Okay. And I'm done. So why do you think I would have knowledge of this happening early last year? I have no idea. Okay. Maybe I was inappropriate at some point. I don't know. Okay. Wasn't anything to that extent, and you probably got on and looked and thought, man, I need to watch this guy. What if I told you that I had knowledge of this when you were still a high school coach, when you were just retired, actually? Okay. I mean... Do you think that would make sense? It might. Okay. I, I don't know. I mean, I really don't. I don't know that I, I... I haven't gone back through my history and looked. It's probably not real good. Okay. I mean, you know, I've looked at for a long time, and that's probably clouded my... Yeah, that's judgment. what I think it could be, too. Yeah. But, but, again, I'm done. Do you think we'd have online records of you being inappropriate while you were coaching? Or while no. you were doing training? Okay. No. Did it, so, so it would have started after then? Yeah. Okay. So, here's my kind of thing, because, you know, a lot of this talk, yeah, it's very simple. Um... Do, do you ever go on the dark web at all? Or? No, I don't even know what. I know I've heard what it is, but I don't know what it is. I mean, I don't ever do that. Okay, where'd you hear it? Where'd you hear about it from? Kids. Kids. Kids just saying, you know, there's other parts to the web that you don't know about. And I said, okay. Okay, was this like an online thing they were telling you this shit, or no? Okay, no, got it. Um, you know, so kind of what happens, and I've noticed a pattern when there's well-meaning people like you, because dude, I mean, Billy, I'm gonna tell you, man, there's there's people online who. are like guys online who I don't even talk to and I found out about them and I'm just like Jesus Christ it is bad <laughs> you probably you probably can agree with me on that there's a lot of shit said from men to kids that you would just look at and you would be disgusted with some of the shit they come up with and you know I know especially he's a coach a father you definitely don't stand with that stuff um but you know then, then it happens when there's good guys like you and kind of get sucked into some internet bullshit um you know, you, you say you watch a lot of clearly, um, you know, I've had to, I haven't watched in years, and, you know, that refreshed my memory, some of the pics that were sent to them. Um, but, you know, there's there's kind of a thing sometimes where, you know, you watch, you're watching, and then it just becomes boring. It's like, you know, it, the dopamine hits just kind of go away, and it's not, a, it's not an attracted to underage thing. It's more of a, just a dopamine, lack of dopamine thing. It has... has for, and this could very well be somebody introducing you to this. I wouldn't put it past that because, man, I've talked to a lot of people where they're like, oh, my God, I was I was just kind of on the straight and narrow. Yeah, I watch a lot of and all of a sudden somebody, someone, someone just sends me a picture of a, a young-looking thing, and then from there it just spirals. Um, has that ever happened where someone tries to, like, send you a picture? Okay. Not that I know of. Not that you I mean, know not of. Not that I can specifically recall. Okay. In any sense like that. Right. But has, has I don't know what a trigger would be. That's what you're asking. Okay. Maybe the retirement, no job, wondering what to do. Mm -hmm. If we wanted to look for some kind of trigger of being bored, being on the internet late. Sure. Sure. But I just think in, a, in the past couple of years on Facebook, I'm just not, it's, it's not coming together for me that, you know, these all this shit would be said and there hasn't been anything viewed online. And I'm not saying you going out of way to view it, but I'm just saying more of a pop-up or more of like a, a rabbit hole. You click two links, next thing you know, you're in a shit show. It's a show. Okay. Okay, do you know what, do you know what I'm referring to by shit show? Yeah. I'm, not refer, I'm not referring to on a 25-year-old Latino. I'm referring to... Little kid. Yeah, okay. Has, has that ever happened before? I'm, I'm thinking Once that... Once or twice, yeah. Okay, okay. So, obviously, I know you don't produce that shit. You don't condone that. I know there's... <laughs> Even, even though you've looked at it, it doesn't mean you condone it. It, it means that getting carried away shit happens. But what I care more about is where do you think that could have been accessed? This child stuff? Oh, I have no idea. I mean, honestly, if that's what you're asking, I mean, I don't know. I don't know anybody that does that or anything like that. No, 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 no for sure. But I mean, you know, you said this, it, it's kind of popped up once or twice. Mm -hmm. Okay, but where was that pop up? Like I'm not saying, tell me, tell me who the guy is that you know did. Well, I don't but. even know. I mean, it'd be like an Instagram. I'm oh, really? looking and I see a model, and then it talks about you know, teens at the pool. I look at teens at the mm -hmm. pool, and then it pops from teens at the pool. It shows a kid, and it's like, oh. And then I go on something else, and then it was a, you know, then another 
it's stuff like that. It's not anything that I'm searching for. Okay, it just pops up. Yeah. So when the ship popped up, like what did you, what did you, what, what was shown to you? Usually just kids in states of dress or undress. Oh, okay. Not any relax, nothing like that. Okay, so more of just pictures type shit? Yeah, okay. and I just close it and okay. go on. So Instagram, is, well that doesn't make sense it would be posted on Instagram. Was this like a link that somebody sent maybe? Or? Probably. Okay, okay. Just well, attaching stuff to stuff to stuff. Sure. Would, would a thing called a mega link make sense? Do you, have you I ever, don't even know what that is. No, okay. So I want to ask, so when when this, when these, when these pictures of kids popped up, I mean, what, was it like a lot of them in one thing, or was it like just one or two? Like, how did, how did that kind of go? Usually one or two. I've never seen a thing with a lot. It wasn't like a whole shit. Okay, got it. I see, I see. Um, so how many times has this happened where that shit's kind of popped up on a link on a link click? Probably four or five. I mean, not many. Four or five, okay. What were some of the age ranges they were? these idiots were posting on that? Probably from about age six, five, up. What? Yeah, bad. Five-year-olds, they were saying? Yeah, like five-year-old in the diaper and then the diaper being pulled down. Or the diaper is off. You know, this little kid walking and it's like, that's not, no. Little kid walking. So this was like a mini video type thing? No, no, no. No? no. Just kid. Okay. No, no, I, I get that. But I mean, you know, you said, it, is that any of your people? Uh, I don't know. You said, you said, uh, You don't know them? I don't think I know the car. It might be a delivery. Oh, an actual one? Yeah, I mean, we have deliveries from Amazon. So that's not an Amazon. But no, I mean, it's not. I don't know who that is. The car's still running, so. We'll see, I guess. Drum roll, please. Oh. I guess it is. Anybody you know? Nope. Oh, so. People, oh, so people actually deliver packages like, oh, I guess that's why people fall for it. All right, that makes sense. Hey, what's up? So you don't know her? Yeah. That's for my wife. That's why people fall for it. Nice. Okay. Cool. Um, so were, were any of the, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <You're okay. laughs> Were, were any were any of the stuff on the links um, any like short clips or any videos or at all? I don't think so. Okay. I mean, I'm not watching little kids. I, I know it's not a regular thing. I mean, you're asking. I'm not watching stuff like that. No, no, hundred um, percent. Anything? Anybody? Just uh, were, like were these all in links or were some of these like DMs and or sh some shit or like were they links in the DMs? I have no idea. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm not that familiar with all the internet language and computer language and stuff right, like that. Right, right. That that's what totally makes sense. Um, what was that for? Say again? What are you doing? Why are you ringing the doorbell? I'm letting her know you have a package for her. I could do that. You didn't have to do that. I could walk in when I'm done here and hand her the package and say, "Say, say, I got a package." Yeah, I mean that's a good point. Are, are you trying to cause a problem? Hey, hey, ma'am. Can, can you, you come out? I gotta, I gotta talk to you for a second. Yeah, I'm like, no. All right, let me explain what it is. He's on a group that watches the internet. Come on, did Ella go back? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ella went home. Okay. He's on a group that watches the internet. I've been inappropriate with some kids. I don't think it's going to go past this, but I sent some messages. They sent some back. I got stupid. Bad decisions on my part. And he's here grilling me on it. You know, and I keep asking him, you know, what's what's the end game? He won't tell me. He rang the doorbell to get you to come out because somebody delivered a package and that just came for you. I don't know what it is. Yeah, so basically, ma'am, these are these are messages between a 12-year-old uh, girl and your husband here, and he's basically was sending them a lot of and I got you. teaching them how to themselves and do all that type of stuff. And he also has done it to a few other girls online and said no, that people I have even... done anything. Quit saying it like that. Well, just messaged, messaged. People have even sent him, like, child 
You have like a five and six year old and all that shit. It's just crazy stuff, crazy stuff. And I close that out. Okay, I've talked to about two girls, three girls back and forth, just because I was stupid. Late at night, messaging back and forth. By two or three means maybe like five or six. Okay, so what are we trying to do here? Just, okay. just letting, just okay, aware I, of her. I've messed up. I've talked to some people. I haven't met anybody. I haven't done anything. Okay, I've been dumb. Yeah, there's just talk about picking them up and going to Oklahoma and, and having I, with them. Okay, but I was doing that. I told him, and he's trying to get me in trouble here. I told him that, and I told her that to put her off because she was wanting to meet. There's no way I was going to meet an underage girl. Yeah, and he was just teaching her, like, you know, all that stuff. T just t t tons of messages there, ma'am. And... You, you want me to hand that to me and I can hand it to her and then she can look through all of it? I don't care. I mean, I'm already confessing everything I'm doing. You're acting like you're here under great pretenses. What's on your neck? It's a microphone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you act like I figured because he had his... My phone. favorite kind of consent. One party consent. Okay. That what? Um, yeah, here, I'll just... But you don't have to do this. I'm not going to do anything. I've told you, you tell me that you think I'm a stand-up guy, and then you come out here and call my wife out. Well, by stand-up guy, I meant you are physically standing up. Okay. Barely. Um, I yeah. mean, he's been out here a long time. <laughs> Got a walk. And I was afraid he was going to fall, so. Okay. Uh, thumbnail here. Okay. I've been. What are you doing? Just posing for a thumbnail. Um, anyway. In front of what? I have. Um, yeah, but here are the messages, ma'am. You can go through them. Um, you don't need to read through that shit. Uh, I can assure you, sir. What is your name? So you're not going to talk to me? We got to go to the PD, they said. Bro, well, cops literally passed. I know, dude. I saw that. You saw him? Yeah. The dispatch said our officers can't swing by. Yeah, they can. Was it was it Decatur PD or was it the county? Well, actually, we'll figure that out right now. It's the one that's closest. Let me see. We, oh, 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 Bridgeport, right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, we're in Bridge. Yeah, it would be Bridgeport God, PD. Damn. Okay. Man. So far. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. We're at the police station. Does that say police right there? Yes. Okay. And police. So is that a badge? Oh, it looks like it. So is it fair to say that's law enforcement presence in the video? It says 911. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, yes, sir. We're here to turn this in right here. Okay. We're turning in evidence of a potential crime that was committed and we are doing it with the police right here okay okay just let me know when that gets to a, uh, like a minute and 10 seconds so we can just just make sure it's in the video oh does it say police headquarters right there it does so that's in this video though right so is that not police presence oh there's another one over there really let's go let's go look at it Look at all the police presence right there. I mean, that's law enforcement, isn't it? And are, would you say cops are part of law enforcement? No, they're not. Oh. Oh, do you work for YouTube? <laughs> I'd say cops are part of law enforcement. Yeah, okay, I do, I two, do. two to yeah, one. Yeah, two yeah. to one. So, so that therefore that's law enforcement presence. That's in line with YouTube's TOS. So, anyway, please sub to Rumble and join us on local so we don't have to do this ridiculous stuff anymore. I'm sick of using this platform. My God, sub to Rumble in the pinned comment. We're gonna go turn it in actually now. Are those all law enforcement officers? And they're in the video? Yep. Oh, wow. You mean, I think they're all just bashes. Yeah. Remember, we gotta put them in the video, but we also have to see they're bad. <laughs> what about this for these like police badges? I think so. These are lines. <laughs> wow. Okay, three. Yeah. Okay. 
companies filmed on the internet. We're in the country posing as like miners online and online message us from across the country. We're from Houston, but we just travel all over doing this. And um, there was an individual by the name of Jesus messaging us, uh, who we believe to be a 13-year-old girl. Um, he said he wants to have sex with her, have a friend with uh, her and her friend, and get a hotel room. Uh, he never followed through with that, but he was just very uh, in the messages. And um, he said he's talked to other miners online before, and he said that. He's on this app called Telegram where he's receiving links to what seem to be buying pictures of miners and stuff like that. But that's all he would say about Telegram. But we interviewed him at his home and he had been sending all of these messages that were like in nature to be this kid. And um, yeah, we just want to turn it over and see if y'all could do anything about it. Or... These are out of order now. That's my number up there. Hi, my name is Agent Orange. I'm from West Virginia, but I live in North Carolina. I'm starting my own branch of called, listen brother, start my own branch of called PP Agent Orange. Make sure you sub to my YouTube channel in the pinned comment. And if you're watching this on Locals months or in advance or weeks in advance, I'm gonna have my channel link in the description, okay? So we're starting the new branch of PP Agent Orange. True story, sub to him in the pinned comment. Anyway, we're turning our stuff in right now. So, here's what's going on. <laughs> yeah. So, did you know? Did you understand that you didn't fulfill your oath? To <laughs> that you didn't. That you. That you didn't. Brother, did you understand that you're not fulfilling your oath by not coming out to our call? <laughs> but yeah, we're turning our stuff into the police right now. They did tell us to come to the station. So um, let's hope they. Let's hope they fulfill their oath. Agent Orange. <laughs> Let's hope they fulfill their oath by, by doing the right thing. If you want to support the Predator Poachers catching the sickest both near and far, go to the pinned comment. If you're on Rumble, press the red join button to see over 30 videos early and uncensored for only $10 a month. We can't do this without your help, so join our locals.